There are a number of strategies that we have introduced over the last few years to support students coming into our program and sitting the USMLE Step 1. So from the very beginning, from orientation, we offer some process-based seminars that uh, introduce students to the next two years and how they should pace themselves when they're taking the USMLE Step 1. So that's called Roadmap to Step 1 seminar series and that is presented both by UQ Academics and we also have students who have successfully taken the USMLE Step 1 who are involved in those sessions as well. So they'll give advice about what they used, what they found helpful uh, and how they approach their studies. From 2019 we're also introducing a dedicated USMLE prep course that will run in the second semester of Year 2. So as well as supporting students through Year 1 and Year 2, there will be a dedicated course at the end of Year 2 that will culminate in students taking a National Board of Medical Examiners practice test that will hopefully see them at a level indicative of a passing grade in USMLE Step 1. Every doctor in the US has gone through it and every doctor in the US will go through it. And I think that, because I have a couple of friends who are doing MD programs in the US and we've all kind of chatted and we've all agreed there's no real way any med school can have 100% per preparation for USMLE. It's just that's the kind of demon you're dealing with. And I think what's important too is now that UQ is kind of changing the curriculum some more is they're adding actual dedicated step courses into UQ, which is a massive thing because from my understanding in the US, they just give you time off, which you know is, is good and bad. Good if you're a really diligent student and can take that time, but sometimes you need direction because you don't know what you need to study and you don't know where you need to study and where you're weak at. And I think by integrating these different kind of UQ, USMLE focused courses, you can really kind of target and kind of diagnose yourself, I suppose, on where you're weak at and then move forward. Our students are actually doing really well. So our first time pass rate is um, very similar to the students who are based in the United States. And that's, that's a real achievement compared to other international medical schools.